Hey guys, long time no chat. So, I got a little tech tip today on Hayabusa clutches, right? So I am still, I still have the shot, right? I'm only taking on certain business, so you can ask me, that's fine. If I say no, it's a no. If I say yes, it's a yes. If I say yes and you don't show up, it's a no from there on out. Uh, so, Hayabusa clutches. It's very common to put a welded clutch mod or a Brox clutch mod kit in, right? The ultralight clutch mod. It comes with springs, right? It comes with heavy springs, even on a stock application. That is because these little wimpies right here, okay, these are the stock springs. I can spot them from the blue, blue paint, see? Do not hardly have enough strength with the back torque limiter to hold. The back torque limiter acts as a ramp type lockup. It isn't designed that way, but it does act that way and allows them to have a lot, nice soft clutch. The Gen 3 is actually designed that way and intends to lock up. So, you cannot run stock springs on a welded mod on a stock bike, let alone, and people do this, hold on, people do this with the best intentions. They will put them in because their clutch handle is hard to manage, right? With, with the heavy springs, like what I'm going to put in this is going to make it a beast. These are APE XHD super, super heavy duty springs. Uh, but this bike makes 300 plus horsepower, right? So... Yes, this makes your lever much easier to use, but it won't put the power down. And your bike will actually be slower with it. Uh, it'll also cause some passive issues you wouldn't think of, uh, such as oil blowing out of the breather, right? So it creates a lot of heat in a very short amount of time. Heat expands air. Air expanding can force oil up and out the breather because now you've got crankcase pressure, right? You've pressurized the crankcase by making the air in it hotter very quickly. Not steadily heating it, but very quickly heating it. So, a slipping clutch, a burned up clutch, I've got a dozen hand clutch bikes out there. And they know their clutch is on the way when they start seeing oil come out of the breather because they know that that is a sign that the clutch is getting very, very hot. Uh, this clutch in particular has two passes on a brand new clutch. Two passes. is blacker than Toby's asshole. It is pretty well smoked. I'm going to see what it holds, but I think it's smoked. Uh, but yeah, definitely, 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 you have to put at least, at least, the Brox Purple Springs that come with the kit in there. These are AP Super Heavy Duty. You could probably get away with on a stock bike two of these and the rest stock. Or three of these and the rest stock. Uh, this bike's getting all six heavy because it puts down a crap load of horsepower. And uh, we're going to prove it because I put this thing on the dyno. I didn't film it. I'm not going to film it. But I put this thing on the dyno because I was told it was blown up. It's fresh build, right? It went out the door with different springs in it. <laughs> it went out the door with heavies. It doesn't have heavies now. But anyway, I put it on the dyno, made a quick freaking pull, and I made 158 horsepower on an engine that was making 190. I promise you, I put these springs in, it'll make 190 again. Why? Because you could see the RPM go, whoa! It sung through that clutch. And the video I got of this bike ain't can pass confirms that. Also, you want to make a lot of crankcase pressure. Rev limiter will do that. Rev limiter will do that really bad, especially rev limiter with nitrous firing. If you've got 100 shot of nitrous and you're on the rev limiter all at the same time, one, it's really bad for the motor. Really bad. That's why I hate micro switch nitrous systems and why this got a NOS Mini. But uh, two, it makes a shitload of crankcase pressure on top of the clutch is burning up, making a shitload of crankcase pressure. And it can blow about half a quart of oil out in about mm, 15 seconds. Okay, it blows a lot of oil out. Now, this bike didn't blow half a quart out. It was less than a quarter of a quart low in two passes. And all of it was on the bike. None of it was burned. The motor sounds perfect. It's 240 PSI on every cylinder. So just something to keep in mind if you want to go fast fast you want to put down say anything more than 225 230 horsepower you won't be able to do it with stock clutch springs right you'll have to put a mod in and go with heavy springs uh, once you get to that 225 230 horsepower range you're putting down enough your clutch gets really hard to pull and you got to learn how to manipulate it you put down 260 to 300 your clutch is freaking boss hoss like it's a 50 pound lever pull. So if you don't like that, MTC Gen 2, rock sliders, haze clutches, those are your options, but not 
going to later springs to make it easier. All right. So that's what I got to cover. That's my rant. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull this welded mod out that I didn't put in here. My welded mod is gone. And I'm going to put my mod back in it. I'm going to put the stack back in it. Hopefully it's good. And I'm going to put these heavy springs in it. We're going to see what this thing does on the dyno tomorrow. Later, guys.